Okay, it is now time to discuss case number 20. A previously healthy 24-year-old man visits his physician complaining of significant weight loss, flatulence, and foul-smelling stools. He reports feeling fatigued since his return from Peru three months previously and has suffered abdominal cramping and intermittent, loose, non-bloody stools since then. The patient's stool ova and parasite studies demonstrated characteristic trophozoites on two occasions. He was prescribed a course of drug therapy and warned that consumption of alcohol during treatment could lead to nausea and vomiting. What is the most likely diagnosis? Giardiasis due to Giardia lamblia infection. Giardia appears as both a flagellated motile denucleated trophozoite and as a round cyst. Flatulence, foul-smelling stools, and chronic watery diarrhea in a patient with a recent travel history of or exposure to well water is characteristic of Giardia infection. The ova and parasite tests that reveal smiley face trophozoites are diagnostic. What is the differential diagnosis for this patient's condition? Enteramoeba histolytica can cause a similar spectrum of symptoms but would present with bloody diarrhea instead of watery diarrhea. Infections with enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli, Vibrio cholera, and Campylobacter jejuni can also cause watery diarrhea, but the onset in these cases is generally acute and will resolve within a few days. What is the appropriate treatment for this condition? Metronidazole is the agent used to treat giardiasis. Concurrent alcohol use with metronidazole produces a disulfiram-like effect. Disulfiram uh, is prescribed to discourage alcohol consumption in situations of alcohol addiction. Metronidazole interferes with the action of aldehyde dehydrogenase in ethanol metabolism, which increases serum acetaldehyde levels and thus leads to nausea, vomiting, flushing, thirst, palpitations, vertigo, and chest pain. What is the mechanism of action of the medication used to treat this condition? Metronidazole is effective specifically against anaerobic microorganisms. It diffuses across the cell membrane of microorganisms and is reduced in the mitochondria of obligate anaerobes to cytotoxic intermediates. These intermediates cause DNA strand breakage and, general, and generate free radicals that consequently damage the cell. Furthermore, the reduction of metronidazole creates a concentration gradient that leads to further uptake of the drug. Okay, and continuing on, what other use? What are the other uses of the medication? Metronidazole is used to treat Clostridium difficile, which is an anaerobe infection in pseudomembranous colitis, amoebic dysentery, bacterial vaginitis, and trichinomus vaginitis, and as a component of triple therapy for Helicobacter pylori eradication. Broadly, it is effective against most anaerobic bacteria and various protozoa. Uh, 